We have current version is 3.09. Okay, so you can see up here, we have the Z790 Live Mixer 3.09. Right here, we're at ASRock, you can see that is our motherboard for 12th, 13th, 14th gen CPUs. Come all the way down here, look at 3.09. This is, I never even flashed the BIOS, I thought I did, but I never did. Um, so we have a ton of versions, and look at all the descriptions on what it has optimized and allowed for anything new. So luckily we have not had a problem as far as just installing the CPU. Now it is backwards compatible with the 13th and 12th gens. So uh, our 12th gen is natively supported in this. So let's go ahead and grab this. We're gonna download the latest BIOS. Okay, and that's downloaded. Let's go into our, our downloads. We can see, let me just get rid of all this stuff so it's less confusing for everyone and myself. We have to extract, because this is a zip folder, extract all. We're just gonna extract it right back into the same folder. We can see it there. Okay, so this is what we want. We wanna do control C on our keyboard or a right click and copy. That's the same thing. Now I have my USB um, thumb drive that I put all my BIOSes on. So we are going to stick that in there. Let me get rid of these BIOSes and other stuff. And this is where we're going to put it. So control V on keyboard or right click and paste. Now we have the BIOS on this thumb drive. I'm going to put it in any USB port. It doesn't matter if it's a USB 2.0 or 3.0 or the 10 gigabits per second or 20 gigabits per second. Nine times out of 10. Um, if it doesn't read it, just switch to a different, usually just switch it to a different USB port and you should be fine. But we're going to stick it right in the first available 2.0 port. It really doesn't matter. Not for this. And here we go. Down here in the right hand corner, once again, instant flash, click on it. And please suspend BitLocker, yakety yak. If you have BitLocker, you need to disable that. And we want to continue. And look at that, we're going right to 1901. Yes, let's update it, please. And after pressing enter, the system will automatically reboot. Please wait for a few seconds and the BIOS will update. The BIOS update will continue. There we go. The BIOS just, or the BIOS, the CPU just shut down and it's restarting into the BIOS configuration or update mode. So it's all normal. Give it time, walk away. This is where you do not want to remove power. You do not want to play with the computer, push any buttons. You don't want to even touch the keyboard. Um, nine times out of 10, you won't be able to anyway to disrupt it unless you pull the power. So. At this point, you just walk away. But we are at 7%, and I'll just cut to the end here real quick. All right, so we're back into the BIOS. It only rebooted, it looked like once. And we are currently now at 1901, which is exactly what we needed. And that's about it. The only other thing you can do usually is something like F10. Nope, it doesn't work on this one, okay. So I was looking to load the optimized default settings. I don't quite know how to do it on here. Let's go to advance. Let's go to exit. There we go. Load optimize defaults. I'll click yes. Then save the changes and exit. 